Okay, so we're going to be going over three ways to make money when the market crashes. Now, obviously, the past two days has been fantastic. The market's been rallying, um, but we definitely don't know what's to come. And there's a lot of volatility in the market. So we're going to be going over three ways to make money when the stock market crashes. So as we can see on our screen here, we have ticker symbol SPY pulled up, which is just the S&P 500 index, the top 500 companies. Uh, U.S. companies. Um, so the first way is going to be buying put options on the SPY. So we're going to be heading over to the options chain, uh, and we're going to be buying some puts. Um, these these puts are just going to act like as a hedge. Um, if you're purely an options trader, um, buying some short-term put options is going to be risky. But if you're buying and holding stocks, buying some put options can definitely help hedge your portfolio. Uh, and prevent further losses if the market crashes. So we're going to be going over to probably a March 2nd expiration date. Uh, we want some short-term expiration dates for this because even if these put options don't make us money, we do want the market to rally and our long-term investments, our buying and holding stocks, is going to do pretty well. So it's going to even out. So buying some put options... Um, it's basically buying insurance. The market tanks, you're not going to lose as much money because of your put options going to be making you money when the market drops. So that's one way to do it. You can buy any of these for a few hundred bucks. Just think of it as insurance. Second way is to take a look at the VXX, uh, take your symbol, uh, which is the VIX, the volatility index. And basically it's the measurement of fear in the market based on options. So it's very correlated with the SPY. As SPY rises, uh, we can take a look at the year chart, then VXX is going to drop. Uh, so it's basically the inverse of SPY. Um, so you could just buy and hold shares of VXX, um, and it's going to be a short-term trade. You're going to be buying and holding shares of this uh, ETF, and then once you feel comfortable enough, you can sell it. Um, basically, basically going to be uh, acting as a hedge, just like a put option. Um, so you don't really care if this uh, VXX drops because in your long term in investments are going to outperform it. And then you can also buy, if you do so wish to do, call options, which is going to be a bullish bet on the VXX, which is bearish on the SPY, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, you can do some short-term call options if you want. Um, but if you don't want to trade options, if you're not familiar with it, uh, we can go uh, and just buy and hold shares. And if you guys want, if you guys are confused about how options works, call options, put options, leave a comment down below and we'll make a separate video on that. And then the third way is basically going to any stock you own. And if you have 100 shares, you can sell call options, which is basically... Um, selling it to someone who's buying 100, the right to buy 100 shares. Um, so, was, for example, if you have 100 shares of SPY, we can go like a March 9th expiration date and we can sell some call options. Um, and if you sell, like, for example, a 4 to 422 strike price for March 9th, which is two, three weeks away, you're going to be collecting $463 of premium. Um, basically, kind of hedging your portfolio a little bit. Um, but obviously the put options and the VXX call options are going to be a little bit better as a hedge. But this is a nice way to make some weekly, bi-weekly, or even monthly income just selling call options on your shares. And remember, you have to have 100 shares to sell some call options. Uh, so that's about it. Three ways to make money when the stock market crashes. Uh, and you definitely should hedge your portfolio um, when you see volatility like this coming.